when last we left our heroes. <gasps> OD, what happened last time? Oh, blimey, right. So we're, blimey, in the, uh, we're in the old black forest and we were just sort of having a, having a mooch around, seeing what we could find. And then these, uh, I, can't remember the, I can't remember the exact name of them, but these sort of giant mosquito type things decided to attack us. And when they did attack us, they, uh, if they were successful, they kind of latched onto us and they had some weird pointy thing that could get down into our armor and start sucking our blood. Let's call them vampire mosquitoes for one of, the, for one of a better name. Uh, anyway, because we're all tough, um, we managed to defeat them. But then we moved on. Actually, I tell a lie. Uh, <laughs> Lavellus and Oren moved on into the darkness. Because they have night vision and kind of left poor old Savannasaur not really knowing what's going on because he just can't see anything unless he's with uh, someone that's got a torch. And at the time, I think I only Co had a torch. Anyway, they went off and they came back and they said, hey, 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 we think we see a mystery figure uh, up to the, I think it was northwest. And we're like, okay. And then me and uh, Zoga, I think, just bowl over there like a couple of idiots and uh i think we poke this figure looks dead at the time and then before we know it uh the vines kind of start attacking us and one of the vines grabs zoga drags him up into the up into the trees and it was this fight right dale this was the fight where you yes, decided it to was yes the fight. okay so anyway we're, we're doing this <laughs> we're doing we're attacking this what was the name the vine horror there's this this other thing comes out called the vine horror it's getting quite a hairy fight and again these vines suck blood right so schmuck's having his blood sucked and it's all looking a bit hairy at the time so uh Lavellis is like well if I'll just call my uh, fire angel, I think, right? To, uh, to, Madam to help. Crisco. <laughs> Madam Crisco. Madam Crisco. Madam Crisco. Madam Crisco. Yeah. Yes, because <laughs> Col Colville said Matt O'Driscoll, and someone in chat thought it was Madam Crisco. <laughs> so Madam Crisco gets uh, summoned, and unfortunately, it also managed to singe, shall we say, uh, a few other members of the party. Um, I think it got me, it knocked out Schmuck. And was it one other? Was it three you got, Dale? Or was it two? It did, I did kill, it did I did kill, kill one of the vines. A blood vine. It did yeah. kill, yes, that's fair. Sorry. Pretty good I ratio. Out. We get two, get two heroes for every got, uh, pot, for every mob. <laughs> yeah. 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 You just for need every, more heroes. For every one bad guy I hurt, <laughs> I just got to knock out two goodies. Uh, anyway, we're back in. So that was combat one, combat two. Then off they went again. Uh, Oran and Lavellis went off and they found, the, found some water. So we think we're at the... Uh, Giant's Rest. Uh, we found a cart there that seemed to be abandoned. Savannasaur recognized that the um, claw prints on the uh, side of the uh, side of the cart perhaps belonged to an owl bear, which reminded me of another game of D&D that I once played. This one's going uh, way better though, right? <laughs> hey, we haven't found a dungeon yet. We that's true. We, all of us have, have fallen down unconscious multiple times as well. Yeah, that's how you know it's and, good. And... Um, <laughs> Yeah, so we're, we're, we're kind of think we found found the place we're looking for, and then all of a sudden, out in the water, um, these twitchers, I think they were called, start attacking us. But they've got, um, I guess, they had a shaman with them, right? And he had some nasty, fi again, fire. The um, seems to be the theme there. But he had like this nasty fireball attack. So Co had a good idea of like, as they kind of went back to the water, let's try and drag them out, right? Or was it Tom? Was it Schmuck or Co? I can't remember. I'll credit Co, you Co, I think, was the one who first thought of oh, retreating. So, yeah, kind of retreat a little bit and try and lure these nasty suckers out of the water because we won't do very well in water trying to fight them. Uh, which it worked, I think. They started coming to land and um, we kind of, yeah, we, we did a few flanking moves on these guys and eventually we, we, managed, to, we managed to defeat them. But again, a few of them went down. I think we had to take potions from people's pockets to try and keep them alive. So there's a good chance we might have used all of our health potions. And they were like, phew. Oh, that's actually, that's that's something. Um, I was going to say, can someone take my health potion off me? Because I've considered it, and I think it would be better in someone else's hands. Oh, God, you're, for, you're punishing yourself. <laughs> I don't deserve this health potion. <laughs> I don't deserve... No, it's actually because 
I have so few hit points that by the time I would get to use an health <laughs> potion, I'm already down. So if someone else could have it and just use it to like bring me back, that would be great. Point of order. She does have six hit points more now than she used to. I do. Which is 30% more. more 30% more, more, which is not insignificant because I got her uh, another, I got her stats wrong. But we're all another, there, right? And then, sorry, just real quick. And then we're done. We're going to have a nice night's sleep. Everything's going to be fine. And we're just about getting through the night, and then suddenly I'm fast asleep. I think a couple of others fast asleep, and then Oren is the only one who is. Oren awake. is the one who's kind of awake. No, she I think she's actually awake because she only needs to. I'm legit. She only yeah. needs to meditate for a few hours. So this is the last quote unquote watch. Yeah. So she, she's already awake. So actually, I think um, yeah. I think Oren has gained the benefit of um, a full long rest. Although I don't yeah. know that I've I don't know that I've done that to her. Uh. No, probably not. And there's a shambling mound approaching. Yes. Here we are. Yes, Oren, you hear, you, you smell, as I described last week, this incredibly pungent aroma of like peat, peat moss, earth, mud, clay, and the aroma of like living detritus. Like, uh, you know, uh, elves don't have compost mounds, but if they did, it would smell like this. And you hear this noise. At first, it sounds like... Uh, like a, a boar or something rooting around in the ground. This guy like, <laughs> and you notice kind of investigating the area right outside the ring is a um, forest spirit. Okay. Hmm. And everybody else is asleep, right? Yep. <laughs> me, 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 me. Okay. Um. Well, uh, is this an initiative situation, or are we not yet in a combat scenario? I mean, it's we're not in initiative yet. Okay. Well, I think what I'd like to do is get everybody woken up. Well. So I'm gonna just come out here and just like holler and are you gonna do like, like fear fire oh. foes awake or are you gonna be like hey wake up hey hey wake up like wake the fuck up everybody there's something out here uh you guys all wake up you hear you hear Oren <laughs> shout swearing in elvish yeah. <laughs> uh I'm not going to worry right now about like sleeping in armor and stuff like that. I'm going to presume that when you wake up, actually, no, probably I should worry about it. So, wow, just give us exhaustion. I don't think actually, I don't know what's worse. What is that mound shambling this way? I, I there must be a name. There must be a name for this kind of thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Blimey. Uh, uh, actually, do do I know what this is? Go ahead and make a nature check. I and actually, I would thing. say go ahead and um, give yourself. Um, plus two. Plus like you have two. advantage. That, and I know how to do it and everything. Yay! Oh, there we go. Uh, wow, really nice. Let's see. You might even know its name. I am of the woad. I feel like I consistently get decent rolls on the stuff that doesn't matter that much. Oh! Well, okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna, oh, do I want to do this? Is this going to be bad? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm just gonna sort of gesture for everyone to like, chill out a little bit. Also, <laughs> just at, be like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah. At the, at, at Oren's shout, the, the giant man-sized, actually it's much larger than a man, I think, as you can see, it's probably like nine feet tall, um, and, and, you know, hugely broad. But definitely humanoid shape, kind of. Oops, doesn't doesn't he doesn't shrink yet? And walks over here, shambles closer yeah. to Servanazor, and then Lavellus starts doing what Dale says. Yeah, um, I'm I'm just gonna like quickly gesture to everyone to to chill out a bit and be like, it's okay, it's okay. Just it's just a, a forest warden. It's <laughs> that it shouldn't be hostile. It's just uh, here to protect the forest, which uh, is great. I love that. Big fan uh, of that. Uh, <laughs> is there like, is there like some kind of a um, gesture that I might be able to give to the shambling mound to um, 
to to indicate that we're friendly and we're not here to hurt the forest. Um, Having said that, I feel like the forest is already freaking hurt. This place is messed up. I wonder if it's elvish. Yeah. We can give it try a, it. a treat. I don't know. I don't know how to indicate that I'm talking to the shambling man. Just understand that I'm saying it to the shambling <laughs> man. Okay, great. I'm fine with that. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> What? what are those two talking about? <laughs> They're giggling like schoolgirls. Uh, what are you two? Just saying? a couple elves. <laughs> a couple elves. A couple elves out in the forest for a good time. Lavellis trying to get so the the shambling mound uh, can't understand you. Um, but getting it to do what you want is going to take a roll. Mm-hmm. And it's going to take a diplomacy check. Oh no! <laughs> but, but you're gonna get plus two because you speak the language it understands. Oh neat! Also, I just looked at my diplomacy. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was. No. <laughs> so that's good. Okay, so I get a plus two to this. You said? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh man, if you roll a one, we're gonna have fun tonight. Okay, don't don't say this. About <laughs> that's a win. Oops! That's such I a threw win. it very hard. Well, it's not great. You did, did, wait, did you throw it in the chat window? Because I didn't see it. I did, but it didn't. Then it disappeared. It went Doesn't away. Doesn't count. Yeah, it's got it. It's got it. Gone. Got it. Got it. I'll yeah. throw it more gently this time. There we go. Thank you. Wow. That's so much better. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't yes. even roll over. It just stayed on the seventeen and bounced around. Yeah, that was. Oh my god, what a trick shot! <laughs> I'm so relieved. Last time it was either a nine or a six, so that's really good that it didn't work. Uh, <laughs> it it stops and listens. <laughs> The rest of you mm. see this giant um, pile of almost, like I shouldn't say almost, steaming compost that is in the shape of a humanoid creature. And uh, little Lavellus is talking to it in Elven, and uh. it's kind of just standing there listening to her. It's not, it's not doing anything threatening. Tell it to go away. Yeah. Uh, it's a warden of the forest. It may have seen the people yeah, that were searching. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um. This thing's big, by the way. It's 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 the biggest bad thing you guys have seen so far, and it. Uh, it's like about as big as one of these stones. Whoa. Uh, mm. <laughs> ah, it's very tall. I'm really glad that uh, that we didn't try to fight it. Um, Don't hedge. It responds to your speech, Lavellus. It makes a noise. It kind of screws its face up and goes. Mm-hmm. 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 Because it can't talk. Let me see. What a very simple concept. Hmm. Uh, I wonder if I can point. Has it got any hands? That's <laughs> just a general direction. Oh, it doesn't know what a human is. Um. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. I can't really. I can't really point at Zoga because he doesn't. He's. He's not really like them. Um. Okay. I'm not. I'm not sure that the difference between. Zoga and um, the humans you're looking for would even be evident to the elves. It depends on how well educated you are on things oh, out, okay. things out in the world. It depends on how much time you spend like outside the world. It's up to you. It's up to you to be. What do I know about this stuff? Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, featherless biped. Um. Okay. <laughs> Here is your man. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the featherless biped and bring a plucked chicken. Uh, okay. You know how all shambling mountains look the same to us? <laughs> we all how look the same dare to them. You. They all look unique and beautiful in their own ways. Um, I mean, they do each have their own unique kind of ecosystem based on the forest they live in. Uh, 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 uh. It starts to move forward, but its way is blocked by a dragonborn knight and a high elf. Uh, maybe we just uh, move out of its way. 
like just sort of nicely. Uh, I'm gonna try it. It's gonna it's just gonna like try to run you over basically, OD. Yeah. Unless I'm you move out of the way. Hang on. <laughs> I think I think he's just having a look. Oren. <laughs> oh, damn it. Were you trying to block its way, Oren? No, I wasn't. Okay. No, I was, was just I was typing and then I realized, oh, I typed that wrong, and then I wasn't even looking at the screen. Uh. Yeah. It starts leaning in. It starts leaning in to Zoka. Zoka, you're, um, you've lived in quote unquote this forest, forest most of your life before it joined with the. You were on the other side. You were on the eastern side of, of the Black Forest. You've never seen one of these things before. These are things. This is an elf thing. Mm. And it leans in to smell you. <laughs> and. It leans in real close. And then it starts to like, it, it reaches out a hand to you, Zoga. Or I should say a, a tenderly limb that looks made of uh, roots and vines. Um, and it touches your face. Oh boy. And then it, then it's friendly. It's friendly. Then it like leans in and like kind of smushes its face into yours. Romantic. And then it pulls back. And then it points east. Oh. All right. Um, I think I think that worked. It, I I just want to do like a like a traditional sort of elven gesture of. Thanks. Two middle fingers. Yeah, two middle fingers to the yeah, forehead. Yeah, two middle fingers to the forehead. To the forehead. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly it. <laughs> I do yeah, the same. <laughs> Perfect. Um, before before we lose the the friendly dude, I just want to. Um, it's starting to become it. light. Dawn dawn happens. I just want to ask it really quickly. Oh, okay. Are you writing? To, okay, are you writing to deal? <laughs> Yeah, why, why, what? I what? was just wondering what was going on because there's just like a lot of grunting. Blimey. <laughs> no, I don't. I just want to get you like, man. I, I, I as a, a player, understand a what these grunts mean. Yeah, it nods. No. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, so, what, where, like, um, where's your. So, you have a campfire. Actually, the, yeah. sun, the sun is coming up, right? All right. <laughs> this is crazy. I can't believe I'm doing this. The sun is coming up, it's starting to cast shadows in the sunlight and the stones make shadows not entirely unlike the ones that here in fantasy grounds right and the shambling mound kind of walks up to you it doesn't kind of it walks up to you labellus and kind mm -hmm. of herds you into like behind one of the stones oh shoot okay uh, uh, stay out of the uh, now i go with uh, it i go with it Wait, and let me click my thing. it puts you Actually, no, it's not going to do that to you. It's not going to do that to you. It's going to do it to, I'm just going to roll a d6 to see who it grabs. Actually, oh it's going to grab, no, no, no. It's going to grab, it's going to grab Orin. Sorry. It's, <gasps> it's going to, it's going to do the same thing to Orin. It's going to like walk up to Orin and kind of like try to kind of like herd her toward one of the stones. <laughs> which, which one am I going to? Yeah, pick one. Should I be here or am I supposed to be on the outside? Well, it doesn't matter. The actual three, the actual 2D representation of what's happening is not required for this. I, I can narrate it. And uh, once Oren starts kind of going with it, the shambling mound very carefully positions Oren, kind of like a gardener being very careful to, to trim a delicate flower, positions Oren so that exactly half of her face is in shadow. And then it turns to Lavellus and points to Orin and goes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. And then it comes, then it, then it walks back. To, then, so it's over here right now, right? And yeah. it kind of the guy goes, no, 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 no. <laughs> And then when it's done, it kind of, like I said, it, point, it, it, uh, it looks at Lavellus, points at Orin. And then when it appears as though Lavellus has gotten that point, it kind of walks back over here. Okay. Well, I don't fully understand, but I feel like we've taken up too much of this gentleman's time. 
<laughs> so I'm just going to uh, thank it again and sort of it, it can go in peace. It moves really slowly. Stay safe. What did you, uh, what did you ask it? There's something wrong with this forest. There is something wrong here. Like, like beyond just being a, a gross human forest, it is that there's something off. Um, and I just wondered whether I could get any more information about it. And clearly we have more information about it. Uh, I just don't understand it. You, you grew up in the Black Forest, right? Well, not this part of it. This is, this is not my turf. Is but, it this cursed on your side of the Black Forest? Hmm. Would I know that? I mean, hmm. um, you don't normally like. No, it's not. It's not. No, it's not like this. No, it's dangerous. Uh, it's it's definitely dangerous. But the dangers are like owl bears, orcs, um, regular forest beasts. Yeah, they, some of those some of those beasts are like magical. Right, like owl bears aren't normal biological creatures that we experience here on Earth. Um, sure, but yeah, you don't normally see blood sucking vines. You probably had never seen a vine, one of those vine men before. Sturges, I don't know that you've ever seen those before. Mm. They're not native to this place. Bullywugs is not that big a deal. Like you know, you've probably heard rumors that there might be bullywugs in the orc part of the world, the orc part of the forest. Orc territory. Okay, so I, I at least have some. Uh, okay. Some some concept that this is not like, this is not the, the forest that I'm used to. I'm not in Kansas anymore. Uh, and I will impart that to Lavellis. Mm. Is that your attempt, Anna, to put yes, your incredible attempt to put your hands it's up funny. and point and point at your forehead? Yes. <laughs> I found it on the internet. I didn't make this. Oh but my god! It. You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have said that. You should have been like, well, "Yep, I took me. Took I me hours. It. Took me hours." Well, the thing is, there's all these different ones, which is like, ah, oh, damn it! Never mind. I give up. <laughs> Please go on with the story. <laughs> um, it's it's weird though. Right? He picked you up and put you. So what was said? Half her face was in shade. Yeah, and then it pointed. sounds like a split thing. But if you think, uh, and then kind of point it over to Lavellis, think Lavellis is meant to do a similar thing, like, and it will trigger I think something. Like that was his answer to right. Yeah, I think he was just that was his answer to Lavellis' question. To he he couldn't speak to us. Just for clarity, um, I don't understand shambling mound speak. <laughs> Just just so that the, the non-elves here know what was going on. I, I can talk to it. It can't really talk to me. What was the last question you asked it? Um, like, what was the word? Is the wording specific? <laughs> I, I asked whether it had felt that there was something wrong with the forest. Could it be a direction? In that direction, there's something? I mean, this is kind of like a sundial or a... When, when he asked it, uh, oh, um, also, hey, I asked it um, about the, the missing humans, and that's where it pointed. That's what the pointing was. Um, right. And then, <laughs> yeah, the, the second question was just, there's something wrong here. Have you felt it? And it positioned Doran half in, half in the light. So there's some sort of... Or sorry, probably he, more to sorry. Some sort of liminal darkness. space happening here. Yeah. Half enshrouded in darkness. Yeah. Maybe All that I know is that I was expecting to feel more comfortable in the forest than the city, um, but uh, this place is terrible, and I hate it. <laughs> Bad vibes. Back to back to the Bad city vibes. then, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get a drink. We'll just get back. Yeah, come on. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, awesome, cool. I, well, <laughs> good time, guys. I just think that we need to be, <laughs> we need to be even more careful here than we thought we were going to have to be. Is is my concern? Okay. Uh, shall well. we head? But shall we head east? Because that's where the uh, humans are, right? Potentially. There was, no, there was nothing else for us. Uh, was there anything else? I mean, do we want to finish our rest? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good point. Can we go back to well, sleep? 
<laughs> yeah, I need my rest. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that was the last uh, encounter. Yeah, I'm so proud of our party for not fighting something. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm I'm inclined to to trust it for one. It gave me a nice a nice gentle little kiss on the forehead, and then <laughs> yeah, know, really it, it could have smooshed me. So could have smooshed us all. I think we should take the 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 kind pile of plant matters advice. Uh, so it's it's uh, you finish your rest. It's dawn. You all feel rested. Lavella seems a little on edge. Um, what next? Just... We're gonna go east, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess I don't understand, but yeah. If you <laughs> I just I just saw Lavella's talking to him in Elvish, right? And then this thing pointing and then picking up uh, Oren. It was all very weird for me. <laughs> That's cool. Right? I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed getting to do some. Elven bullshit. So. Um, that was pretty cool. Oh, maybe there'll be more Elven bullshit in the future. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Zoga, right. do you want to make another uh, tracking nature check? Actually, hang on a minute. These giants die here. It's like the La Brea tar pits of giants. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, do you want to make a nature check? Actually, oh, I, I do. I do want to like, do that. I would like to delegate yeah. this nature check since I did not you so hot the first time yeah but, i mean you, you, you know. any, anybody can make this check because you're no longer you're no longer relying on a specific person's memory of where things are in the in the wood you're now following by the way you have there are there are tracks to follow yeah well okay well i think the wood elf should should probably all right am i adding anything to this whack at it um i don't know what tracking is in fourth edition so uh, I think perception was finding tracks. What? Yeah, I think perception was finding tracks. I don't know what following tracks is. And I had pointed that out last time. Yeah, yeah. perception is like if you're trying to follow some tracks. Find uh, tracks. I think, yep. I think if you're looking I think I have the same you, bonus yeah. to either, so it doesn't really. So yeah, go ahead and make a. Actually, anybody anybody can make a find tracks check. Um, it, it may be that. Uh, oh yeah, that's a super good roll. Yeah, Sweet. it's it's really easy for you. Sorry, to... I should have rolled in the. I mean, so here's it, it is it is very easy for you to follow these tracks, Lavellus, because they were made by a group of many humans with carts and horses and oxen. So they they kind of you know as soon as you point them out, anybody in the party could follow them. Right. Mm -hmm. cool. And these tracks lead east, and they go for several hours. Mm -hmm. And um, you folks are making pretty good time because you have two elves with you and they they can move through the forest they, they can move through the forest like it's um you know nimbly. yeah very nimbly so it's uh daylight actually let me um let me so it's only around i would say it's midday the heat of the sun is warming up the forest so traveling through this forest um following these tracks you often are making all sorts of like left and right turns, right? It's not like you can go due east. Even if you like, hey, you can't just go due east. There's all sorts of stuff in the way. But also the tracks don't make a straight line. They often curve and sometimes backtrack a little bit. Um, it's clear that these folks didn't really know where they were going. Hey, Matt, I have a question about lore. Yeah. So how is the 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 barrow men's living in the wild situation different from elves? Are they like an isolated... Like, do they have buildings up in the hills, or are they like wild men? So, or... uh, you, you, you live in the low mountains above the hills. So you are like literally okay. mountain people, and there's um, a, and as far as like technology goes, the thing is, you guys are so impervious to everything, right? That you don't really need much. So imagine like. Um, you know, you you don't have to you don't have to wear a lot of clothes because differences in temperature don't really affect you. You don't really have to build shelters because you're not threatened by most things, right? And I would say you're probably like hunter gatherer folk. Okay, that helps. Um, that's that's the extent of my knowledge on this. If you would rather them be more technological, like like if you carry weapons and stuff, it's likely to be a spear or something like that that can be thrown or can be held in the hand. But uh, probably a lot of your people. Um, a lot of your people eschew weapons because you don't need them. If there's a problem, you're going to beat the shit out of somebody with your bare hands. And what are they going to do about it? I like that. Yep. What are they going to do about it? Aww. So you folks follow 
you're following the the trail left by the caravan and it turns south and then starts to kind of go southeast to avoid some of these huge bramble patches that have uh, large melons growing in them and the uh the even though there there's no there this is a clearing there's not much canopy it starts to get like twilight in here oh starting to get a better starting to get a little better idea of what the shambling mound might have meant by like half mm. half in shadow oh, right oh yeah good call i see but this mm. this here is a a melon it's a it's a pumpkin pumpkin uh, yep. pumpkin it's a pumpkin it's just a it's big Sorry, what in the description? You said that it's like half twilight or something? Yep. It's like dusk, even though it's about noon. Oh, that's weird. that's not a good sign. Hmm. And there's a dead, yeah, there's a dread tea, d- dead tree here, as you see. Where are the tracks now? Uh-huh. The trail yeah. kind of goes this way. Can you see that? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! I do see that. Wow. No, whoa, whoa, I can't. It's like the NFL. Ooh, great big, big <laughs> and Koga go, go goes in for the pass. He's open. <laughs> I think I can actually turn this off too. Oh, oh yeah, this yeah, is cool. nice. Oh. Oh. Anyway, you get the idea. Okay. I'm kind of interested in these giant pumpkins though. Do you want to try and eat one? I'm gonna pick it. I'm gonna pick this one off. You're gonna okay. pick it? Yeah, it's, I'm gonna it's, pick it it's, off. it's big. Well, I mean, it's like large. It's, it it's like as it's like as big yeah. as your uh, breastplate. Wait one moment, Uh-oh. one moment. Let me make sure it's a good one for Uh-oh. you to get off. Uh, Are Co- you trying to eat it? Co and Lavellus. Anyway, yeah. What do you guys do with that pumpkin? You see, Vanazor very deftly yeah. slices the the yeah. um, the vine that connects the pumpkin to its briar to its patch, and now he's got a big fuck off pumpkin in his hand. It's a little bit. It's at, a little um, rotted on the bottom because it's been laying uh, here for a while, but otherwise okay. it's health. It's healthy. That's what I was trying to show you. You gotta knock on it first before you just go around like plucking pumpkins. I'll cut you it pumpkin open. plucker? <laughs> <laughs> I want to cut it open. Okay, you take a dagger out and slice into it. It's uh-huh. a little bit uh, tough. The outer rind is a little bit tough, but it gives quickly to your dagger. Uh, we could make, maybe we could make some pumpkin pie. I look at the, uh, Sir Vanazor. I say, "What is that?" Uh, it's a pumpkin. We can make fine pie with it. <laughs> and I slurp. Um, I'm gonna nice. well, cause I've ruined that. that. Okay, well, I've cut it. It's the Venice was like, yeah, whatever. They're just pumpkins. Who was <laughs> anyway? The tracks, the, the the tracks you're following, Lavellus and Zoga continue in the direction. Hang on, continue. We go down, down with these guys. You should come down with us. Ugh. There are oh. there are many graves here. Actually, hang on a second. Oh. They don't, they don't go down there. At least one of them is open. They go down. <laughs> they go down this way. Like the way that Zoga and I were standing here looking at the graves carefully for a very long time. Yeah. And the minute Sir Vanazor saw the graves, he was like, "Let me go look in the hole." <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm looking in the hole. <laughs> um, it, you see perfect. a freshly you see so a freshly dr- freshly dug grave. That's a big grave. Freshly, like if I examine the whatever it is, the shovel here next to it. Yeah. Which, yeah, I mean, it's um, it's it doesn't have anything growing on it. It doesn't have anything. Yeah. It doesn't have any rust. Right. right. It looks like it was just dropped there. But these other graves oh, look. Do they look fairly new? Um, that grave? No, that grave looks uh old. Oh, these are the oh, these are the graves. These graves. This new one is like fifteen feet long. Uh, map is, is right? The map is not to scale. Oh, damn. They are human-sized graves. These have all got mounds, but this one here hasn't. So does your mom. It's entire <laughs> VA team. Okay, I'm, pick, I'm looking at this grave. What Does it say anything on a gravestone? It's just weird that this one didn't have a mound. But it might just be the map. Um, the, um, the, there, yeah, there is something written on the gravestone, but it's really faded. You'd have to probably get like a, a charcoal and paper, like get like a rubbing in order to in order to really give it order... a good rubbing. Blimey! If I sort of stand in the middle of shit, can mm-hmm. I see if any of them have anything I can read? Um, 
yeah, some of them are a little bit fresher than others, and they are in a... Um, so it, it just looks like an alien script to you. It doesn't look like a modern script. I apologize. Looks like the tattoos on my hand. Yes. Cool. Okay. Hmm. Um, looks like my prison tat, so do you. <laughs> probably, probably nobody here recognizes this language. The cart tracks go southwest. Right, let's go southwest. head on there, shall we? Unless we think there's anything else. Follow uh you don't want to like. <laughs> you don't want to see what's in this grave. I looked in it, didn't I? Yeah. The open it, one. It yeah, was just, just freshly dug. It's as you see. Wait, there's nothing in there. No. Nope. No. Oh, I thought it was like a fresh dirt mound or something. No, no, it's a hole. No, no, no. It's a hole. It's a oh, hole. a hole. It's an okay. unfilled hole. And you can Blimey. see you can see next to the. Blimey. You can see next to the tree, <laughs> just just to the right of the tree. There's a big mound of dirt that where they excavated. Oh, the, okay. It's you. It's two D, so it's hard to. Make out. Anyway, Sir Vanazer, you see a large statue. It uh, is obviously um, a human, oh, fi- a, a human figure, but a very, but an ancient human figure uh, from a previous civilization. Oh. oh, I just watched you, know you disappear into shadow. That must have been what you felt like last time. Uh, <laughs> By the way, you can't, Maybe. you can't walk through that thing. That's that's. I not... know. I just try to get a, put a proper position. I guess Maybe that's... whatever they took from this grave is the reason that things are so effed up around here. Lavellus, oh. the tracks the tracks go due west from where you're standing. All right. so, Maybe, uh, anything I wonder if the people were looking for... I don't for love that they the decided to, to suddenly that body. wander through a bunch of graves. That's the... not where the path goes. Follow the path. What's wrong with people? Oh, the... hang on, hang on. Do, do, do the tracks... Do the tracks we're following... Yeah. Go here to the open to the dug up grave. Go ahead, go ahead and make a um, go ahead and make a perception check. Um, the tracks you're following don't, but there are fresh human tracks around there. Ooh! Like the tracks Not you're following from the caravan. No, 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 no. no. The, the, okay. the, 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 there's no way for you to no. The caravan tracks, the actual like wheel tracks, do not go there. But you can follow the tracks that the human tracks that lead there, and they will they will go back south and and meet up with the caravan. Can I like? In other words, whoever made these tracks, these were the people with the caravan. Oh, oh! So the the people with the caravan did dig up this yeah. this grave. But the actual or, or the actual wagons the actual wagons never came up here. But the people did. Oh. Right. Yeah. That that was that was but, my. But you that was described my it. You described it as a fresh grave. So is it like, Yes. I, I'm assuming that this is a newly dug hole intended yep. to be a grave rather yep. than a previous Ooh. grave. It is a dug newly up. dug hole intended to put a body in and they never put a body, whatever reason they had for digging this, they they didn't fill it. And I, okay, so we know that they ran into trouble. There was a lot of blood yeah. at that first uh, wagon that we saw. Mm-hmm. But why would you go to the trouble of digging a grave and then not bury the body? Maybe, Lavellus, it's occupied. Lavellus, Maybe there was already a body in there. <laughs> so, Lavellus, yes. the three gra- the four graves behind you, to the north of you, I should yep. say, yep. Uh, they seem ancient. Okay. The uh, like okay. the other one, like the other ones. The three graves you're, you're it, to the south of you look fresh, freshly filled. Uh, oh. Uh huh. Do these have more clear writing on the headstones, and is it the same OM alphabet? Look over here. Uh. Those are ancient graves as well, Sir Vanazor. Oh, I'm sorry. No, uh, yeah, one. actually, that's the these graves. Uh, these are not these gravestones are made of wood and they are fresh and they are in uh, common the common tongue, the common human tongue. Cool. What did I say? Uh, they have names on them. Let me. Uh, one of them says. Um, not to interrupt while you're concentrating on something else, but how do elves dispose of their dead? You believe. And in fact, you would not even refer to it as a belief. You understand that when an elf dies, you go to Arcadia to join Val and be with the elder elves. Mm. So what is done with the body? Uh, I, you, I, I know you don't bury them. That's a, right. That's, that's that what is I'm a saying. Super like, human burial thing. seems very human. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just you know. thinking this whole, this whole scene looks real weird from my perspective. 
so here's what one grave so says. Another one says... Orly. That was... Yep. Yeah, that was the name that... Oh, what was her face? Satani? Satana? Satati. Satati, there we go. And there's some... Um, there's some signage here that I, I am I'm not comfortable improving because these people have an elaborate culture that um, I don't really know that would talk about how like this young man, this child was killed in the prime of his life and that the his future was denied to him. But I, it, it would be a lot more poetic than what I just said. Sorry, what was the can you guys remind me what the Zatati thing was with Polly? When you guys were in the tavern and Satati said that her acolyte um, is gone and missing and doesn't know where she is. One of the people in the tavern who overheard it said, um, oh, yeah. said it's these, it's these families. And he named a couple of them. And one of them was the Polly family and mm. said that they're there. They lived in the town of Millane, which is, you know, it's one of oh, the, right, the mill. it's one of the local towns uh, that Dalrath keep protects. And this, this local person in the tavern said, you know, they got fed up, and packed everything up and were, they've been talking about going south to Bedegar for a long time. Because as you guys know, Dalrath is cut off from the rest of quote unquote civilized world. And so these names match up with those names you heard in the tavern. Mm. Everybody, nobody move? It's initiative. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, Savannah sword. God. Wait, wait, nobody roll yet. Still okay, I'm waiting. Or There's actually, do, do, do the thing that schmuck. It is done. Okay, cool. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Schmack. Oh, you almost rolled a 20. I, I saw it. I, it was so close. <laughs> it was within my grasp. It's pretty close to rolling dice. It's not exactly the same, but it definitely has that kind of moment where you release the die and you're all watching to see what it rolls. That, 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 should, uh, that feel is pretty roll cool. Roll your fancy new dice, Justice. What, oh, what do you mean fancy new dice? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he put something on Twitter that he got some new fancy Oh, that's dice. right. Yeah. Um, some all right. dice for okay. our mage game. Um, Lavellus, Zoga, Orin. The earth begins uh -oh. the earth begins to move. And uh -oh. oh, sorry, that's not right. Stand by. Stand by. Co is first in initiative. Sorry. Um Nert. Nert. Fucking knew it. Nert. Fucking was gonna call. Oh, I should have said it earlier. Whenever we were looking at that open grave, and I was next to Zoka, I was gonna like look at it and see tracks coming out, and then be like, "Zombies." <laughs> <laughs> I hate zombies. Anyway, uh, zombies. well, you're not wrong. The and these three figures claw their way out of their freshly dug graves, and they are they have not been dead long. They have um, oh. they're covered in wounds, and you can still see the red of the meat inside them in their exposed wounds mm -hmm. and now yeah. there's dirt all over them and stuff and they're wearing modern clothes like the folks you saw at the inn but this Orient Co. but these guys excuse me all look very old how many oh what guys what what oh. the fuck oh, Stop they're it. up there they're up there uh-oh 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 uh -oh. Uh oh! No, there doesn't need uh -oh. to be one for every gravestone. Uh -oh. No. <laughs> and yet there is. Stop it! <laughs> Look, on the bright side, they all have very low initiative. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Why are there so many of them? What's okay. their speed? No. Oh. No. How would you know that? I start running. <laughs> What's wrong with this place? So these all of all of the skeletons all seem very kind of like you know. Broke ass, like like very Harryhausen. Uh, yes, they're very Harry Harryhausen. They they have no. They're they're wearing like a rotted, tarnished bronze age um, helmets, and they have like broad uh, ancient swords that are rusted, very badly rusted. Um, there 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 might be a piece or a scrap of leather still on them, but otherwise, whatever they were wearing, I can turn off this fucking stupid. Mauve stripe, um, whatever they're wearing is uh, is has rotted away a long time ago. There's oh, okay. definitely a very slim chance you're going to survive. Co, I would like to. I know that you guys are new to the system. I would like to remind you um, that uh, that never mind. Shut up. 
You guys will figure it out. <laughs> Are you going to remind us about the distance, the, the diagonal? Because I think I can go exactly six squares, which means I think I can reach this person, right? Yeah, diagonals still count as one. They oh, don't, they yes. Don't. That's a that's official, by the way. That's not like oh, that's not a house rule. In fact, this is the first edition of D and D where a diagonal is officially one oh, square. Oh God! I movement. zoomed out, and there's <laughs> <laughs> so many. There's so nice. many. Oh Jesus! Okay. We've done oh, this. Boy. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This is the time whenever you should set everything on fire, Dale. Yeah, I. We'll, I, we'll gather them I together. To. <laughs> yeah. I would just um my my only warning for Anyone you folks is not to hurting skill. Not to like um. Not to burn through your really powerful abilities if they're not going to affect a lot of zombies. Mm -hmm. gotcha. You don't say. Just All right. <laughs> well, I'm going to target Decrepit Skeleton 21. Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, well, I'm going to hit him with the Dragon's Tail attack technique. Cool. Can't wait to see what that does. Probably miss, but. Crunch those bones, Ooh. baby. Nice. Yes. Ooh, Co dead. What, what does that mean? He's already dead, right? Oh. Co oh, uh, runs over to very, very kind of like almost effortlessly kind of lopes over to the skeleton that has emerged from this grave. And uh, how do you how would you describe the dragon tail attack? Co? What does it look mm. like? The dragon's tail. I kind of like I don't remember what the fighting game is. But it's almost like Ko does like a standing splits with one of his tails and then just brings the heel down. And since he's so tall, that that's like a seven foot high heel that just I comes know. down on its face. When you said one of your tails, you meant one of your legs? Yes. Okay. Did I say tails? You did. <laughs> oh, well. And I'm I, was already, like, I was like, I'm method acting. Baru? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, standing split, and then just like crushes the. Yeah, I it, was hoping to knock them prone that way. No, but. no, the the skeleton shatters, and its bones fly out in uh, uh, in a hundred million pieces. Um, and then I do my flurry of blows just into the air and and go at all of them, and then my turn's over. Okay, well, Oren, you just watched Ko shatter a skeleton into a million pieces. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, so for the skelly in front of me, or the zombie in front of me, the zombie. Uh, the zomb. Which square is the zombie? Oh, sorry. That's a good question. Rattling. Here. There you go. You're welcome. Of course, it's closer to me. <laughs> Would you like to be farther away? No. Would you have preferred that? No. Okay, sorry. good. All right, fine. Then don't complain. Put him back. Put him back. I'm going to attack this zombo with my I grappling strike or cleave. Do grappling strike. Do, do, do. Let me target him. That's interesting. You're going to grapple a zombie. That's interesting. Cool. I'm going to grab him. Okay. Sweet. You're going to give it a shot. Yeah, there you yes. go. Yep. What the fuck? Oh. Whoa. Wounded. Cool. What, uh, describe, go ahead. I see this guy come up out of the ground, and I'm just like, holy shit. So I run up, uh, and I see everything else, like, popping up, too, which is, like, pretty wild. And so I, I hit him with my battle axe, and I pull him in close once I land, like, a good solid thunk in him. And then I go to, like, grab him like I normally would, except because he's, like, partly decomposed, I accidentally kind of, like, shove my hand through his side. And I'm like, oh, I don't have anything to grab. So I just pull my hand back, and I end up just I'm grabbing onto his spine now. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Uh, he looks at you and says, Serona! Serona! Edrin! <laughs> Serona. Is that the name of the... Hmm? Serona. Name of... I was just thinking there's a song that sounded like it. <laughs> uh, are you done, Oren? You have grabbed a zombie. And you heard him. I have grabbed a zombie. I... By the yeah. spine! Yeah. I grabbed a spine, uh, Sharona. Uh, <laughs> it's you, Cervanosaur. Cervanosaur was kind of impressed with the way that Ko took out that 
Skeleton Keep in mind hit. that you can see, what is that, but, 5, 10, like 40, 50 feet away. There is oh, like an army of skeletons coming at you, bro. <laughs> yeah. What I... Yes, but... <laughs> okay, great. What I like the look of here is that I can... No, 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 no. I think I can do that. Remember, right. you can there use, you if you have a numpad, you can use the uh, 7 1. You can go diagonal. Anyway, go ahead. And then I can get advantage. Well, what is it? Flank Plus advantage two. here yep. and help. Because uh, I think these things, because I saw the way the code just went, psh, took that out. Yeah. And this zombie might have looked a bit tougher. Yeah, I they are tough. It is tough. It definitely has flesh. This, yeah. This is the thing I should attack. So I will. Uh, Use my howling strike, which sounds like a dog. <laughs> Rather confusingly. Ooh. Did, did you have him targeted? Oh, bum, no. Bum! Uh, zombie 18. AC. Wow. Uh, yeah, that, that hits. Oh, yeah, it super Ooh, hits. Yeah, I'll these guys are easy now. to hit. And I will do my damage. Wow, nice. 15. He's bloody. Yeah, he's badly yeah. wounded. Oh, big chunks what? big chunks of zombie flesh come falling off him. Serona. Let's see. There's something that happens here. Lavellus. There's a bunch of zombies and skeletons that are arising from the ground. I don't really know what the elves think about. I don't know that you um, humans, human culture has all sorts of legends of undead, um, but uh, elves, elves don't. We've got at least one one story of undead. <laughs> I That's true. I had to make one up for my channel divinity. There's um, also but, um, there's also Lady Serial who's famous. Yeah. That. That's, That's true. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, <laughs> so we've got a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to target you and you and you. And I'm gonna use the Thunder of the Summer King. Sweet, that's Whee! fucking cool. Thunder Whoa. of the Summer King. Oh, dude, that's a Whoa. good thunder right there. <laughs> wow, a, dude, it's a great oh. damn fine thunder. All right. <laughs> you hit. Oh, this is cool. Oh, bum is all. Boom! Three oh, skeletons. So three skeletons all explode. Six, seven, and eight. I was trying to do it dramatically. It didn't work. Uh, where are you? Six, seven, and eight. Six, six, no, I, I mean on the combat tracker. Six, seven, and eight all die. Yeah. Boom. And they, uh, right. the, nice. the light, the, or rather the thunder, the thunder bolts. How did, what, what, what just happened, Dale? Um, I, I picture it as like a shockwave, like a, like a ripple outwards. Yeah. And it grows as it travels from her. And by the time it impacts the skeletons, uh, they are overwhelmed by the the force of the thunder. And they shatter. And the bones all go flying north. Zoga? Speaking of, speaking of killing zombies. Here we go. You are not flanking. You don't have combat advantage. Uh, I, I walk up to this zombie and I say, there is no honor in undeath. Let us release you. Nice. Yep. That's pretty cool. Cool. Max damage. Bam. Holy Dead. shit. It is barely, it is, it is, um, it is so, kind of that. W starting to wobble now. Like it's <laughs> not able to control its body as well anymore. So I, I just like, like walk up and just shank it and just stick my sword straight through this thing's chest. Uh, and then I, I pull it out and I stand there with my, with my arms open, just like, you know, open, open to an attack. That was my brash assault. Cool. Oh, uh, so now he can like attack you? Yep. Um, like the, the target can make a melee basic attack against me. As I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make it random. Uh, it roll high. He, he attacks you. Cause these things are, Hard to taunt, they're dead, but they're not impossible to taunt. And then, <laughs> yep, okay, he attacks you. Uh, He's marked. Oh, me. One second, which means I get to do my attack on him. 
Whenever an enemy marker you is adjacent to you and shifts or makes an attack that does not include you, you can make a melee basic attack against that enemy as an immediate interrupt. So before he can actually hit Zoga, I'm going to attack him. So go ahead. Here we go. Melee basic. This is going to be interesting. Ugh. Oh, God, okay. And don't forget you have uh, you have advantage from Sabanazor, plus two. You hit, oh, anyway. You hit anyway, but yeah. yeah. Dying. The yes. zombie, the zombie reaches out to try to grasp Zoga, and Orin's like, "No, you don't. You don't get to do that." I just crunch, I just crunch his spine, and just drops. <laughs> I think we did. I think we did the right thing here to taking these zombies out. You know, gang up on them. That's OD talking. Not so okay. them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you gotta, you gotta focus fire up. Yep, that was cool. <laughs> Dale, this is awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. pumpkins. That's how. That's how like, you make new humans. These guys just aren't done cooking. <laughs> yeah. Going, yeah, gaining flesh as they go. Uh, are you done, Zoga? Am I? I moved. I did a thing. I'm done. Okay. Oh, that's good to know. That's good to know, James Torres. Thank you. Um, a red dot appears to the right of the combat tracker. Interesting. Cool. Uh. Yeah, zombie number one. What are you up to? Where are you, zombie number one? One, two, uh, three. Oh, he shambles over to Cervanazor. It's not great. He's just going to attack great. you. He's just going to attack you. Okay. Good he hits. Yep, he, hits. he 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 just like um, does a haymaker and it's effectively just punches you. <laughs> but he has this incredible, unbelievable strength. He's the strength of the dead, this powerful will. Whatever animated him is, the power that animated him is much greater than just this one little zombie. Oh my God. Yeah, Ooh. he fucked oh. you up. Whoa. What did you just uh -huh. do to me? Savannah saw looks like bewildered at the power of this punch from like a, zomb uh, from a zombie. Just to... All right. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh no, uh -huh. no, I don't like that. <laughs> and then uh, the zombie reaches out to you, Lavellis. And gives me a hug. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Hit. You oh, it's are. Versus reflex. You are grabbed. The zombie, oh, no! the zombie reaches out and goes, Aah! and it's 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 hand, it's gray almost metallic gray hand, dead, reaches out and grabs your throat and you're stuck. And it's got a vice-like fucking grip. Like, uh, like, uh, like, like it's not a living, th it's not a living thing anymore, almost like it's a machine. And then this guy, you're not in a square, get your ass in a square. This guy goes one, actually I can do the one. Fun moving two, all your skeletons. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and he's done. Uh, this guy, can I just do this? Nope, go back, go back. We gotta kill, kill these zombies before these skeletons One, get One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look, on He's the done. bright side, if I'm not dead by the time it's my next turn, I can take out a lot of the skeletons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, well, I can't if I'm just, you know, in a chokehold, but... <laughs> they're all just hairy housing their way down the hill. Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So ah. much faster than I thought they would be. Well, they're taking yeah. a double, they're taking a double move. So okay, their, their movement is normally four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You're done. One, two, three, four. There's a group thing. One, two, three, four. Sorry. Can you get the chat box on the side that just says one, turn. Two, Decrepit three, four, skeleton one, two, over three, and over and four. over again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, God damn, there's a lot of fucking skeletons. Whose idea was this? One, two, three, four. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Maybe, oh, okay. maybe having twenty-one skeletons was too many. <laughs> I mean, he got too excited about how easy four E combat is, so he's like, "Fuck it, let's just put twenty skeletons in here." Uh huh. Somebody might have overextended himself. Oh, I mean. <laughs> what are you talking about? It was a shimmy. What are you talking about? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That guy moved a lot farther because diagonals. This is a non-Euclidean universe. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Actually, he's not on a square. Four. 
So tragic when they so, can't break through the egg. He, he, uh, <laughs> he doesn't have enough movement left. He has enough movement. To, he has enough movement to get there, but not enough to attack. Right. Skeleton numero five, who's also not in a square. One, two, three, four, one, and also he's he cannot attack. Oh come on! He's he doesn't have enough movement to attack, but he's there. One, two, three, uh, four. I was hoping. One, two, three, four. What were you hoping? I thought the other two skeletons down there might stay, stay on code. He could just deal with them easily. So the skeletons are. What, what, <laughs> what, what's going on over here? Why didn't you? Are you not? Are you? What, what happened to you, skeleton number ten? You didn't go. You didn't move. How did you? How did I skip you? I think it's one, two, three, four. One, two, uh-huh. three, four. So it looks as though, well, the skeletons are starting to. Te- it's starting to group up a little bit. If mm-hmm. someone can get me not being choked by a zombie, I can. I can do good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can help, unless Zoga wants to go for it. I was in a, uh, I was thinking about like grabbing that zombie and pulling it. Anna's been reading the rules. <laughs> yes, I have. Mm-hmm. I'm really interested to see if you guys survive this. Wow. I mean, I-, I wouldn't tell you guys this, but I don't think I've ever run a battle with this many creatures in before. <laughs> What's the like the <laughs> old rule where it's like if you're outnumbered, it's going to be a bad time? That's fifth edition. Okay. That's that very different game. And uh, that's a very different game. I think you guys are going to be fine. Mm. I mean, I, I don't know. But the, I, 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 of course, I hope the skeletons I'm win. I'm sure. Of course, I sure hope the skeletons are going to win. I'm going to move here. So I'm flanking. Yeah. Give myself that plus two. I'm going to do the uh, dragon's tail technique on zombie here. I will hopefully hit. Uh Nope. You know what? I'm a use it or lose it type here. Yes, I was going to say. Point. My dog. I'm glad you guys are using your action points. <laughs> Thank it, it, you. They're cool though, right? It's like, uh, my turn didn't go the way I went. What the way I wanted. Maybe I'll bust out my action point. It gives you kind of cool options. I feel like I feel like lowering the numbers here is there it is. Almost another three. Is it started so off as a three. It. You almost rolled a three again. That was funny. I know. I was scared of that. Okay. Uh, and it is prone. Oh wow, cool. Uh, uh, and and then I'm going to uh target this one, detarget that one for my stone fist. Fuck yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is awesome. He clubs the skeleton and the skeleton like you know, it doesn't even put up it, like its bones just shatter instantly as soon as the club club just cleaves right through it. Since the zombie's kind of slow, I just bring up my foot above its head. Like, I don't bring it up with a lot of speed. And then it just comes down super fast. I just bring its head into the ground with it. And it's prone. And that's my turn. It wouldn't hurt to just be totally rid of skeletons on that flank, you know? Yeah. Um, I think... Thinking tactically. So good. Uh, What I am going to do, actually, is I'm going to use my sling. I'm going to use my sling. I'm going to target the zombie that's on Lavellus. Because I'm going to mark this guy, even if I miss him with my sling attack. Um, that way, if he at least tries to hit her, or even if he tries to hit you, he'll take a minus two penalty. And then, if I can get near him, if he keeps trying to do it, then I can get some free attacks on him, too. Here we go. Yep, I'm going to... I got him targeted. So let's see. Oh, I missed him. That's all right, though. Because so you did a ranged right. attack um, while there was a melee dude next to you, this guy gets a... Oh, is that right? Yep. Shoot. I forgot about that. I should have shifted first is what I should have done. Correct. I thought about suggesting it, but I thought, no, she's, she'll, she'll figure it out. Nope. I would not. Uh, here. <laughs> here. You got me. Yep. That's a 24. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> Amy. Ah, shows you. He shows, swipes at you with a sword. Wow. I, actually, I think the skeletons hiss more like... <laughs> Like a, like a yard full of cats. <laughs> Actually, I think I do want to. I think I do want to shift. Be a little closer up here, so I don't have to go as far if I want to. Okay, now I'm done. Servanazor. That's how I have to take this dude. So hurt me. Because he's a git, and I've got advantage or the thing in a jib. So if you guys can clear all these skeletons, you might get. A, I don't know actually. Uh, skele- no. Anyway, I shut up. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Ooh, bollocks! Hit. Oh, sixteen. 
Uh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. he's got defensive. Fa- he's prone. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Oh, nice. nice. Good, 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 good. Yeah, so his, his, a, his AC is down. Um, and yeah, you get plus two from flanking. His defense is lower. So. Wow. Yeah. You fucked him up. He's not dead, but he's not happy. As you 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 hack at his dying his dead flesh, and uh, every blow seems to you know bits of body go flying off him, but also whatever power animates him seems to ebb, and he becomes less agile and less starts to sway a little bit. Okay, uh, you know what? Who's there? Who's next? The Velasaurus to come. I feel like we got to finish these things. Before those skeletons come down, I'm going to take my action point. All right. And I'm going to—I'm still targeting him, so I have to roll Wait. to hit. Again. What's up? There oh, you go. You go for it? it. Okay, hang on. There's something else I need to do. I didn't put my flanking thing on. There we go. My presence sharpens your combat ability. Bang! That should hit him. Oh, did I not target him? No, nope, but um, a 14. Actually, an even—you're uh, talking to a zombie, right? Um. These things have an AC 13, so even without more, the, the extra bonuses you would have got, you hit him anyway. Okay, now let's try and do it properly. And then... Keep in mind that even if you didn't target him, OD, you could just roll damage and then drag it onto him. There you go. That zombie nice is... Nice work. It, that, that zombie collapses into twitching limbs and flesh. And then the, the, gray, the gray pallor color... Uh, starts to actually fade. The limbs stop twitching, and it becomes like normal pink, dead human flesh. Lavellus will be. Let's go and help her. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. There you go. Risky-ish, but hey. Cool. Are you done? Yeah. Lavellus, you're grabbed. You cannot move from where you are. You can do anything else you want. But I can you do can try, anything else. You can try to escape the grab. Yeah, but I believe escaping the grab is an action. Yeah, um, I would rather do something else. Um, so I'm just gonna stay choking. <laughs> also, I mean, um, you, you've, you, you're, a, you're an experienced elf gorilla warrior. You've been grabbed in combat before. It was not like this. It's gonna be hard to get out of this grab. This thing is unnaturally right. strong. Right. So instead, I'm just gonna ignore it for the time being. <laughs> Because I'm very concerned about this large army of skeletons. Um, so I would like to. This is this is this is cool. Of, uh, I have you selected, so I'm oh. seeing everything you you're targeting. It's awesome. Yeah, real quick. So I'm like, have... pun what? Uh, so escape is a move action. So and if you're successful, oh, okay, you'll cool. be able to like also shift away. You'll get a free shift. Yeah, a free one foot a one foot movement. But I came to or help. one square rather one square. For, for my <laughs> most. For my most useful thing, it's it's like a it's a close burst Dale. five, so I would need to like get what? Hmm? These two, the skeleton and the zombie, will both get a free attack on you if you if you use a ranged attack while they're standing next to you. They sure will. Um, Just letting you know. You have okay, six extra hit points, okay, so I might as well wait, use wait, them. Wait, 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 wait. Let's just let's just <laughs> pull out just for a second. Okay. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Rewind wait, the simulation. No. <laughs> I can try to break the grapple as a move action. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be easy, but you can give but it a shot. Then, but then I would have to use my action action to shift away. No, you no, get a, you, if you it, succeed, it's, it's you get a free five-foot step. I get step. a free shift. You get a free one, but, one square movement, and it doesn't promote. But I know that it would be hard to break this. Yep. In fact, um, it just depends if it's acrobatics or Is it, is it strength-based, or is it, yeah. It, is uh, it? You, you can, it's acrobatics versus something or athletics versus something else and just fyi okay, i just i just suck looked at, both at my acrobatics things. and athletics oh, and no. they're both miserable so i'm just gonna take i'm just gonna take the damage it's fine everything's fine don't it worry might be about worth it. just trying though right because like you can't move anyway no 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 so, like, you're not no, no, no. i look let's just i i gotta do what i can do to try to limit this um this skeleton army so you know listen you're not gonna it'll be, a, be what it'll be you're not gonna yeah. be a hero that goes down in legends by not attacking skeletons Right, exactly. Um, so uh, this is fine. Um, so just so that you know, I haven't done the little square, but I'm targeting yep, these. Yeah, I can see. You don't have to do a, it. Yep. A close, in a close burst one. Yep. Um, and I'm just going to use uh, Song of Briaris, which is oh. the, the new name for the thing that. Um, that's fucking that cool. Does the blades of grass. Whoa. Oh, that's right. Huh. Mm, that's a lot. <laughs> um, it looks like you hit, hit, miss, and hit. So three hits yeah. and a miss. Not bad. You 
missed the, uh, this guy here. That right. guy? I think so, yeah. Um, I mean, you're still you're still bite me. You're still targeting the other three. I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Okay, Um, and boop. Okay. Yay. <laughs> uh, three skeletons explode. Nice. Super cool. cool. And that's, I believe, uh, my turn for now. A song of Briaris. Unless, wait, I haven't, I haven't, Do you I haven't literally made my sing a song? Intent, right? Um, I would if I wasn't being choked. Um, I mean, I don't think it, it's not really like cutting off your windpipe. <laughs> um, you can still talk. I, I feel <laughs> Lavella's probably sing something. I won't. Okay. Um, <laughs> you coward. <laughs> All right. Well, you're not a bard. Yep. You're not a bard. I'm not going to put you on the spot. I'm not, exactly. Uh, um, huh? But uh what was i um i haven't done my movement action can i try to break the oh wait they get to attack me first they should attack me that's first true mr yeah. zombie gets to smack you where are you mr zombie uh-huh and, I again, he's like stop it <laughs> uh oh no this is gonna be bad nerd oh did i, I, I might have missed you yep he misses oh, actually oh he doesn't have he doesn't have uh, advantage or anything and then this guy <laughs> is gonna smack you with his Ooh, long S word. And that misses. You got real lucky. I'm nice. sorry. I, that's <laughs> unnecessary commentary on my part. Uh, Nimble elf. <laughs> so now just to reiterate, to break the, the grab is uh -huh. a movement action. Yep. So I may as well try to do that yeah, now. No reason not to. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. It's I, either, I can, it, you can either slurry. use... Um, actually, I think Anna might know more, this better because she might look it up. But it's either your... Um, it's either your acrobatics versus their reflex or your um, yeah. or your a athletics versus their fortitude, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if you've got look, either that are better. Yeah, one of them yeah, is a little I, bit better, but she, I, she doesn't I've know what the stats are. I've got a negative one and a negative two. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I know that... Um, if, if that's the difference, these things are much, it. much more fortitude-y than, than reflexy. Yeah, I was just looking back at the at the chat to see what... Because all my attacks are versus fort, really. So, or most of them. So. I mean, you don't need me to tell um, you. Like these, these, these um, creatures. The skeletons. Yeah. The, zo the zombies specifically are much have much higher fortitude than reflex. All right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try acrobatics because I'm slightly less awful at it. Okay. All right. Woohoo! Fingers crossed. Oh. <laughs> yep. You succeed. The DC's nine. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Nice. <laughs> awesome. So, all right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna shifty shift here <laughs> awesome lavellas how do you how did you escape that grab um uh i probably waited for the moment when the zombie tried to hit me yeah okay and took advantage of that that little um change in its hold to duck out of the way that's cool sort of you see Lavellis um, nimbly and lively twist her way out of the zombie's grip as it tries to position itself to smack her. And it misses and she escapes. That was fucking cool. Right. Get <sighs> zombie. <clears throat> I have a hard time. Okay, there we go. Three. Wait. Hmm? Where was I? Hmm? Was I here? Hmm? I think so. I think so. One, two, three, four, yeah. five. Yeah. I like that you just stood where I was. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> right yeah, in the middle of the be. action. That's where you want to be. <laughs> That's my turn. Uh, all right. I am going to. Okay, so since this guy's marked, mm -hmm. I'm going to. Oh, here we go. I'm going to brash assault this guy. Yep. Hell yeah. All right, yeah. Bam, smacking him. Yeah. <sighs> oh, man. You have a plus 10. Oh. That's so good. Oh, nice. <laughs> plus 10. That's all right, so, so that's. So that's that. Wait, you missed. And I'm oh, no, you hit. You hit. I'm sorry. No, I hit. You hit yeah. with a three? You yeah. suck my monkey. Plus ten. <laughs> plus ten. Well, I'm he's also, got plus two because of the flanking. Whatever. I'm also, as a free action, right. I'm going to furious assault him. I'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, I focus. And then just drag it onto him. There you go. There, we go. there you go. That was my brash assault. That was also, it was a furious brash assault. Which so means he, can, he can try I'm, to attack you, right? He can try to attack me, yeah. All right, let's see. Fifty percent chance he does so. Is he? Is he? Yep, he does. Okay. So now, Mister Zomb, this is Zombie Number Two. Uh, he is going to untarget Lavellis, target Zoga, and he's going to make a roll. Yeah, absolutely. 
and he misses. Oh, that's nice. All right, you get to you get to uh, make an attack against him, Sir Vanazor. You you see him as he tries to like ugh, like tries to paw at me. You see an opening. Oh, go for it. What's why is that? What what happened there? Make a the make a basic attack against the target as a free action, so, and you have uh, advantage. Yep, just nice. a, just a weapon attack. You get yeah, a plus, get two. plus two. Yep. Weapon attack. Uh, any weapon? Okay, weapon attack. Gotcha. It's whatever oh, weapon you're holding. You can't just pick one, but yeah. My great axe. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, Zoga taunted him. He fell for the taunt, turned his back to you, and you're like, no, no, you don't get to do that. You don't get to ignore Cervanazar. Oh, nice. That's a hit. Nice. And then here's my damage. This is gonna be fucking cool. Fucking D12. Uh, 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 <laughs> Yeah, it's still eight damage. Hey, a hit's a hit. Yeah. 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 Eight damage is a lot against these guys. Well uh, done. Take that. Ra. <laughs> 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 uh, are you done, Zog? I'm done, Zog. I need to think about this. I need to think long and hard. Because <laughs> there's a lot of zombies coming. Or skeletons, rather. There's a lot of skeletons coming. Yeah, so... Whatever it is. I'm just going to take a little peek over my shoulder. Notice that there are, uh, you know, about 75 skeletons <laughs> hairy housing their way towards there me. There are 11 skeletons over here, it looks like. Probably the largest combat I've ever run. I'm going to use an action point. A satisfaction point. <laughs> oh, yes. And I am going to... Uh, um, I, I am going to... I'm going to not shift. I'm just going to skirt around the zombie so this skelly can take a swing at me if he feels like it. And he will. And I believe he hits. Four damage. You want to hit me? Hit me! Uh. <laughs> So he, like, you know, whaps me on the elbow yep. with a rusty sword. Just FYI, um, players obviously, players know this, characters don't, but minions do static damage. The only thing that happens is when they crit. No, I don't think anything happens when they crit, because crit's just max damage. So the, all these skeletons, they do four damage. They have, okay. they have one hit point, they do four damage, they're minions. And, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna br uh, brashly assault this guy. In fact, again. one of the ways you can kind of wow. Okay, cool. That guy's crit, baby. Fuck. Yep. Yeah. Bam. Got him. Yeah. Nice one. Amazing. The zombie yeah. is yeah. dead again. Dead nice again. Nice job. Look at that. Double dead. Are there any zombies left? Awesome. No. Yeah. Return oh. to sender, baby. Return to sender. Like, chop his whole torso in half. Address unknown. <laughs> All right. This this guy here, I believe. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How many Crazy zombies move? Child. All the zombies move. Unza, 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 unza. Unza, Damn, unza, you unza, also unza. just like totally shattered like five different zombies or t five Three, different skillies? I, I don't know how many. Yeah, this is like what I'm built for. <laughs> this is what I do. Oh, yeah, One. this is the crowd, right? The crowd control <laughs> stuff. Yeah. We got a crowd. Ah! Uh, I love this software. It's so good. Skellington 12. Well, One, man. two, three. F Wait, where was he? Well, four. No, hang on a minute. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. No, no, that's it. Shut that's up. It. He's fine. Whatever. <laughs> there's there's, there's skeletons. He's fine. There's skeletons. He can get there. <laughs> oh, oh. Four damage. Mm. Wounded. Good thing I got that extra six. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Actually, four. Four, actually, four. Sorry. Skulls. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh my god. One, two, three, <laughs> it's three, fine. Four. Everything's fine. One, two. Mabellus, do you require assistance? Three, four. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's completely fine. Skeleton 19. No, 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 19. The average yeah, age of these skeletons. Was One, two. <laughs> Three, four, one, two, three, four. Actually, probably like literally, Lavellus would look much calmer in this scenario than in fights like against the Bullywogs. <laughs> the skeleton slashes out at you with his uh -huh. his bronze short sword. Fails. Definitely oh, sidesteps. 
Oh, when you said ancient, you meant it. Mm -hmm. Skellington five. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. The fact that I can attack you folks either using the combat tracker because it expands the entry so that I can see their attacker damage or I could just double click on one of them on the map and it opens up their card and I can see all their abilities and I can attack from there is fucking cool. It's so nice. Some of the stuff, some of the, some of how awesome Fantasy Grounds is, I don't think folks appreciate until they, they use it as a, D, as a DM. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Co. Well, the, Co sits and contemplates, <laughs> contemplates for Wait, what a happened to you? What happened to you, number one? Skele what are you, let's say, I'm sorry. Skeleton number one. Did you, 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 did I, I must have missed you. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I must have skipped you once, skeleton number four. You're still in combat tracker, though. It's still you, Co. To keep them in mind when they're everywhere. <laughs> hmm. The question is, <laughs> which skeleton do I want to go attack? Well, I recommend getting into a position where you can, you can follow up and use your flurry of blows against a second skeleton. Because remember, they all only have one hit point. Right, right. I'm, I'm good on my side. You can ignore these. You're good. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right. Let us Just do pray. this. Uh, well, well, yeah. Boop. Uh, yeah. Well, they have one hit point. I feel like the dragon's tail just looks cool, so I wanna, I wanna do that one. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. suck on that. Yeah. <laughs> wow, nice. If it matters, you're prone for the rest of your undead life. He's, he's uh, <laughs> of interest only to historians. <laughs> Uh, then I'm going to follow that up with this right here. Okay, that's another yes. another one. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> uh And then what I'm gonna do? We're almost do at I the remember... point where you guys all fit on the combat tracker, or I can see you all at once. Go ahead. Then what I'm gonna do is, do I remember reading any of their names as I walked by these graves? Um, because if so, I would love to shout them out and draw attention. Like I feel like the one thing they might respond to is like their name, you know, crucible style. It's it's the last thing they're given. That's a really first that's a super cool idea. The problem is these skeletons all died thousands of years ago, and you can't read you can't read those gravestones. The three just start saying generic names like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris, <laughs> really loud. <Bill! laughs> um, the skeletons look at each one. other like, "Is anybody here named?" He's talking to you. Is it me? No, not me. Is he talking to you? No. But otherwise, that's my turn. Okay. All right. I'm gonna use a uh, cleave against these little skillies here. I love Anna's commentary. I love it when people use the chat box to like emote and stuff. Oh, right. I want to get it. I want to pull the actual, like, uh... <laughs> That's going to be a hit. And then we keep. Boom. Another skeleton explodes in a pile of bones. And I'm going to attack you. Cleave! Cleave! Uh, Dead. Dope. Two more and skeletons then... dead. Orin has freed herself from the skeleton trap. There's a pile of bones surrounding Orin. <laughs> I'm good here. I want to get into a good spot to use my dragon breath, I think. So I'll use my dragon's breath. Don't forget to target them. That one. That one. I think I got them both. Cervanazor uh, breathes, and a skeleton, <sighs> a skeleton, as the bones char and turn to ash and blow away, and a bronze helmet and sword drop to the ground. Clatter, clatter. Bugger. It worked out as well as I'd hoped. Anyway. Yeah, you know. So, next. All right. So my chat are chanting for me to summon an angel of fire, but that's not what we're doing here today. <laughs> that, is that your daily power? Uh, it is my daily power. I mean, yeah. so that's, you, that would mean you think that this is the most nasty thing you're going to do today. Now, let me see. This is a close blast. Five. So let me get a square out. Yeah, that's five by five, isn't it? 
Yep. Boom, yeah. and it's yeah. adjacent. Yep. Excellent. That's exactly what you want. Awesome. All That's of that cool. just to confirm. <laughs> So, All right. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like a cone from early, from other editions, except in this case, they didn't want to fuck around with like different shapes of areas. So everything's everything's a square. Cool. All right. Let's hope that I hit. Wow. Okay. Where's that? Where's that two? Um, it looks like you hit, miss, miss. And critical hit. Uh, so you hit two. This of them. one was against decrepit skeleton thirteen. Let me. I'm gonna use my elven thing to try and retarget this. Sweet. Do, 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 which, yep. by the way, is yep. called Dunwin's guidance. Just. Oh, that's so fucking cool, Dale. Dale, this is so guidance. fucking cool. <laughs> uh, Will is thirteen. That'll hit. Yeah. Now, if I do this. How do you like them apples? Yep, that's bad. It only rolled yeah. two of those, though. Another um, skeleton so to roll evaporates. One. Another skeleton evaporates. Another skeleton evaporates. And it doesn't, like, the other the other time that I was destroying that the was skeletons, yeah. they, like, shattered apart or crumbled into dust or whatever. These ones, it's just like the unlife just drops out of them and they fall to the ground. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. You watch them. You watch them. Of bones. You watch them turn into as they're standing there, animated. You watch the gray color of the bones turn like uh, fade from them, and they just turn into normal white skeletons, and they collapse in a bile. There's only four skeletons left, and none of you are bloodied. Yay! Uh, I'm going to let's see. Target decrepit skeleton number five. And I'm going to attack him with my sword. Ah! Boom. Swipe. Miss. Oh, no. Swing and a miss. <laughs> All right. I'm going to use my movement then uh, to shift. Bloop. Decrepit skeleton. So if this one wants to come for me, Number it's got to get closer to Ko. Uh. Uh. Oh, wait. Shoot. Did you want to move somewhere else? No, nah, there was one more thing I wanted to oh. do, but it's fine. He's going to run and get allies. What? No, I'm kidding, Ew. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four. Wentz. You would. One, you would. two, three. He's done. Num number 19. Uh, this guy goes, uh, uh, mm -hmm. and he still has you targeted, I think. Mm -hmm. Does he? Yes. We have killed so I have many it. skeletons. <laughs> Oh, he hit me! Yeah, he fucking did, and I didn't, and I failed to apply his uh, his bonus for flanking you. This guy had Zoga targeted, but he remembers his earlier life as a, a legionnaire, and he gets into a flanking position, targets Servanazor, gets plus oh, wow. gets plus two on the attack. It's all instincts, baby. Four damage. Servanazor is bloodied. Uh, oh no. The skeletons have, the skeletons have started to, all this battle is starting to wear Vanazor down. And you see him kind of like, his reaction time is a little bit slower now. He's not even here right now. And it's Ko. Right. Um, so I can shift, right? My move? Yeah, you can move, you can move uh, one square and no one gets a free attack on you. All right. Well, I'm going to go there. Just, uh, you've got yeah. the right guy targeted. Roll again. Hit. Hey, that's pretty good. And he's oh. prone? No, he's dead. Boom. He's, uh, he's maximally prone. One. He's permanently prone. He's permanently eternally prone. prone. And uh, then for this one, with the club going through the other, Ko just kind of like straightens out his fingers and kind of turns over his shoulder like that scene in uh, in in the Dawn, whatever, the Justice League movie where like Superman turns and looks behind him and sees the Flash. Uh, and then his his hand is just going to go super fast, just through the jaw and out the other side. <laughs> nice, because I think I killed it either way. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Boom. <laughs> That's my turn. Yeah. Cleave, flurry of blows, super fucking useful against all these minions. Okay. okay perfect. So one, two. <laughs> four. Sir <Panasaur. laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, I'm a cleave. Are you though? 
damn it. Wow. It's been a long fight. It's the been a long day. The dice are fickle. The dice oh are cruel. Oh, my Look. God. That's okay. At least he's marked. Savannazor, you are surrounded by skeletons. Okay, I will hit. Uh, I will target. Oops. Did I hit myself or did I get both skellies in? Five and eleven. No, good. I target them. I'm going to use my great cleave, I think. Uh, target each enemy in burst. You can see. Yeah. One damage. For, yeah, there we go. Uh, okay, let's try this. My guy, first time I've used this, the great cleave. I guess this is like I'm using my uh, my great axe and I'm spinning it round above my head and trying to take them out in all directions. At least I think that's how it works. That's up to you to describe <laughs> how it works. Ah! Ooh. Quack, quack. Yeah! Um, yeah! The old and one, too. Dunzos. Servanazor destroys the final two skeletons with, with an astonishing swing of his battle axe, like a whirling dervish. Very stylish. Very nicely. And that is the end of Solomon Grundy. Yay! Woo! There are no, well more, done, there are no more skeletons. Well so done. Skeletons. Well done. <sighs> I think we've played, I think, uh, I think we've played I that one well. Good. I think you guys... do get an inspiring word. <laughs> right. oh, and you, you get an inspiring word. You guys just murdered 22 skeletons and uh, three zombies. And we could fight some more. Well, following the, following the tracks from here, they go south. And it looks as though, um, based on the evidence of your eyes and your tracking, that they stopped here to bury their dead. And then crazy shit happened and they took off. And then we reburied their dead. Yeah, you permanently buried their dead. <laughs> and the um, the tracks continue to go eastward. You follow them for another few hours. It is toward the end of the, I would say, mid-afternoon. Uh, it's not easy to tell how far you've gone. Probably the elves would be able to. And uh, um, Zoga has spent his life in the forest. So it, it's, it's um, if it wasn't for these, for these, um, this half giant, this dragon and this man, Lavellus and Oren, you'd be able to make this journey very, very quickly. Uh huh. Well, what, are you laughing at? what are you laughing at? That's right. We'll yep. slow down for you guys. Yeah. Uh, must we? <laughs> and you come to a a pool. It's um, about as big as the pool at Giant's Rest, but this one is a lot calmer. And as you make your way through the bramble and the bracken, um, you start to, it starts to smell almost like a sweet flowery. There are, there are flowers blooming around and the aroma is, is soothing. The lake, the pool rather opens out in front of you and there are lily pads stretching out, large goldfish like koi swimming around in the pool. There's a giant tree growing out of the middle of the pond. And it's, I mean, it's massive. It's much larger than any of the trees you've seen in the forest so far. But it rises up. It's hard to tell the exact size, maybe 60 feet. And then it just stops like a, a giant tree has been cut off in the middle. So it's a, effectively a massive gargantuan tree stump. And, uh... Give me a perception check. Every actually, I'm going to do it because I don't want you guys to know. They're actually, you guys can roll in the yeah. in the thing. I want to roll. Dice tower. Yeah, I want you to roll too. Okay. Roll, the, roll the dice tower, please. Make a perception check. Perception. There it is. Fuck. Ooh, plus five. I wonder how it is. Oh, well, okay. Um, Zoga, Oren, Servanazor, Ko. Uh, all of you rolled incredibly well. Uh, like, nice. uh, like the lowest roll was a 17. Or I should say the lowest result was a 17. Nice. And there is in the air at the... Uh, uh, it's hard to tell because it's not a solid object. It's just this collection of... Um, of lights glinting almost in the sky and it is adjacent to the top of the giant tree trunk and it looks like it sort of goes up into 
one of the trees adjacent to the pool. It's this like, it's this strange, um, it's almost like if you shined a light through a prism, but you can't see the prism. It's just this formation. It's this formation of light in the sky. And it's going uh, from it's going from above the tree stump into another tree. That's what it looks like. Yeah, one of the trees by the one of the trees that is close to the pool, the pond. Is it like the Pink Floyd lit album? You album? know what it is, Anna. Don't you remember the old. Uh, <laughs> what was it? The Uvla Goovla Largi. Uh, hello, what? What the what? fuck what? are you, you talking about? In the <laughs> sky. In the sky. What are the lights in the sky? The oh. Uvla Goovla Largi. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Do you mean the uh, Aurora Borealis? Yeah, that's what yeah, I mean. Uh, Bro. Oh, Bro. My, oh my god. Bro. <laughs> wow, that's so much worse than anything I've ever done. Congratulations, OD. I'm so happy. Uh, oobly, that you oobly, oobly. Take this mantle oobly, oobly, oobly. from my shoulders. Uh, I'll see you all in a few weeks. It's uh, <laughs> 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 time to get over this. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, that one. <laughs> Lord uh, Rock, what? The <laughs> and then I don't Please. know what he says next. Yeah, message has been deleted by mods. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Well, we've got that over with. <clears throat> Did we? No. Uh, but it's coming from like a prism thing, like it's coming from within the tree. Or right it seems it? to be in the it seems to be in the air and it seems to um sort of float between the stump that is growing from the middle of the pond out to one of the trees near you and near the edge of the pool. Well, let's go look at that tree that it's pointing to, I think. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's inspect this nearby tree. I, I would maybe like to make an arcana check. <laughs> oh, yeah, is, yeah. Is this magic? Good question. <laughs> I've always wanted to see the oogly googly obly. I think that's the best way to spell it. Oogly googly obly. Oogly Hang on. googly obly. Um, can, can I roll to see if this seems magical? I mean, I can't. I'm not going to try and stop you. Okay. Well, then I'm going to do it. Why am I getting it whispered to me? Sorry, what? Wow. I didn't move. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Good rolls. That's definitely magic. Uh, Actually, actually, hang on, Lavellis. Um, <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on. Wow. Hang on, sorry, sorry. I sorry, shouldn't sorry. have asked a yes or no question. Yeah, oh, yeah. We we should just make it up ourselves. Like, what is it? Oh, oh, shoot. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I just imagine that like Lavellis just like looks up at this light, and that's just like your reaction of right away. <laughs> Precious elven noises. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> Not, oh no, but like, mm. <laughs> what? I, she I messaged you. I don't know whether what? To... she messaged you. She she said it, and, yes. and you understood oh. it. Oh, oh, oh understood by Orin and Lavellis. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we should just. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we can go. We can go check it out. We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fine. Let's go check it out. <laughs> yeah, let's go. The tree um, that you, as you approach it, you see what looks to be a winding staircase that goes around the outside of this tree. As you get, Ooh. as you get closer, you discover that the steps are growing out of the tree. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Some, some Zelda shit. Does the tree, is this tree look like it's like uh, sickly or anything like nope. that? Or is it okay? Nope. That's good. Staircase going up. Well, well uh, after you. Go ahead, Lavellas. Okay. All right. I will. You know what? I will take the lead. <laughs> this has got you written all over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's following? I'll follow. I'll follow. Yep. Let's oh, go. Yeah. I'm, I'm going creating to creating a matching order right Co, do you, now. Co, do you follow the... Uh... Oh, absolutely. Okay. I'm going to follow up the oobly goobly, right? You know what? I'll let them know. I'll let them know as we go on up. This is... Uh, this is... A, a remnant of uh, of my patrons. This is, this is a remnant of the Sky Elves. Oh, neat. Pretty, pretty rainbow. You climb to the top of this tree, and there is a uh, a 
platform also made of grown oh, look, they look woven woven together branches uh i'm going to grab uh, lavellus and put her on the map uh, oh my gosh ko that's uh, so good that's pretty great <laughs> that's I just got so that. good i'm so happy i'm so happy then, it's so fucking smart <laughs> What the fuck? I, love, oh, that so I love this game. This game is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, does this mean that this did used to be a woad? Um, oh. hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Oh, okay. Well, right. You, you come out of the tree and this structure that you saw in the sky that just seemed like scintillating points of golden light hanging in the air uh now that you're much much closer to it you can see that it is something like a physical structure it is a causeway made of solid light what the Ooh. Fuck? Oh, what's going whoa. whoa oh my god what it's a bridge a bridge into this giant clamshell it's Bruh. a it's it's a cutaway of the top a tree. of the stump Yep, it's a cutaway of a tree. Uh oh, right, that makes sense. Sorry, the water confused me. <laughs> you can see, Clap you can see the. Well, I thought it was like iridescent on the inside. I was like, oh, that's really pretty and very, very creative. No. You hear a sound. Wow. You hear a sound as soon as you step out onto the bridge of light, which I assume you're going to do because otherwise the adventure stops. Um, <laughs> you hear a sound, uh, a tink <laughs> a tinkling sound, and there are you hear this. It's like chimes, and there's a hum. There's this constant low hum, but it's not unpleasant. It's not annoying. It's like the sound that sunlight would make if it was solid and moved like honey. It doesn't come from anywhere and it is calming. I think it's very likely just for future reference that the, the song of Brialis is like a, a mortal attempt or a, a mortal ish attempt at that sort of a sound. And you see a bunch of humans are all up here. There's actually, a horse and a couple of oxen. Actually, it doesn't make carts. A, a it, horse? it doesn't make a lot of sense that these things are up here. Now that I think about, it. they're like, what are you looking at this place? <laughs> so just, just, ima just imagine that these are very industrious humans, and the staircase is yeah. very wide. How do they get their horse across? <laughs> um, humans they have a, get everywhere. They have a block and tackle set up that allowed them to lift the heavy stuff, and they just <laughs> wow. led the horses up. As far as you know, they made a tree elevator like from Tarzan. This makes a lot. Made, this made a lot more sense in my head. <laughs> <laughs> so, this looks like a bit like a caravan of people. The little boy. So. The little boy is um, tossing little pieces of bread and uh, down and trying trying to lean over because it's so, he's so high up, trying to see if the if the fish will bite. And he's the first one to see you folks. And he calls out to, he just stands there looking dumbstruck, and he calls out to Demelza. And all the, all the humans all stop what they're doing, and they look at you. And um, after a moment, this woman, actually, I guess I can. Oh. This woman oh. comes down the stairs. Actually, she's not going to, she's not going to come out that far. She's going to stand here with the boy and she puts her arm around the boy and the boy kind of grabs her hand and she just says, who are you? How did you find us? Someone else better do the talking. Otherwise I'm going to cuss these humans out. <laughs> they all seem, they all seem pretty apprehensive. And then, uh, and then this guy, th oops, sorry, but this dude, no, that's a fucking, this guy, a... <laughs> this guy over here, <laughs> this guy over here says, um, it's a dragon knight. And the other ones are like, a dragon knight? It's a good King Omens, the phalanx. Actually, what, what color are you, Sylvanazar? Did we ever set that? Uh... This is up to you. It's either, it's either like um, bro bronze, or, bronze or silver or gold or copper, probably. I like gold out of all those three. <laughs> and yeah, a, a, they, they, they say, a gold knight. And they're all like, holy shit. But then as they run up here to check you folks out, right, they see the rest of the party and they're like, um, what, 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 what exactly is happening? And some of them are like, we're saved. We're saved. Oh, wait, what? Huh? <laughs> they full on think we're here to murder them. <laughs> like the guardians of the galaxy. <laughs> are we losers? <laughs> uh, Savannah, Thor, Savannah Thor steps forward. Uh, um, Lavellus, go ahead and make a history check. 
Did I do it in the tower or just open? Uh, do it in the tower and give yourself plus two because you're uh, uh, actually both. Uh, no, actually, probably only you should do it. Yeah. We're here to save you. Please do not resist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's some things you know and there's some things you don't know. Can I still on These people have seen the Ubli Gubli Abi. Ubli Gubli Abi worshippers. Yeah, so. This, okay. All right. Okay. This, right. this this woman asks who you are. And then she turns to the group and she says, there's nothing to fear. And then she turns to Cervantesor and says, is there? Oh, nothing to fear whatsoever. We have been sent here, I believe, to save you. Sent? And the, the, that, they, they're all like, they came to save us. They were sent by, they were sent by the Baron. And she says, sent by who? Uh, uh, something. Satati. Satati sent us to save you. is surprised. She's like, Satati? Satati? A what? name you have not heard? No, I, yeah, I, but the, Satati is, uh, um, she's the priestess of the boatman. I serve, I serve Satati, but how did she know, how did she know where I was? She kind of didn't. <laughs> yeah, she sent us to look for you. She didn't she know exactly where you were. She gave us a cardinal direction. Sorry. <laughs> she relaxes and she says, "These people were sent by by my mistress, by Satati from the Temple of the Boatman at Castle Dalrath." And some of these people know who that is. Uh, almost all of them have been to Castle Dalrath at some point, and they're we all like, "Oh, thank for God!" You when you and, did not return, uh, this dude walks up and says, "We can go home. We can go home." And this gentleman steps up and says, "It depends on where home is." And they all start to kind of like, well, divide themselves up into two groups, each on a different side. How long what, have you all been here? Yeah, what, 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 what has happened to you in the Black Forest? You dwell in a sacred place, humans. It's trespassing. Uh, the humans, when, when, when Lavellis says that, there's this aura of authority that you haven't seen from her before. And the humans all they get like a confused look or some of them have like a, a clouded or shamed look on them and Demelza calms them down and says we sought only shelter from the evils of the woad this place seemed to welcome us yeah I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna let it slide because the forest is really terrible <laughs> yeah this woad is uh jacked <laughs> That's it. That's the technical term. This word is jacked. All I'm saying is, y'all better make sure you pick up all your litter. Leave it better than we got it here as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, Savannasaur might remind Lavellus how he protected her back at the. Uh, was it the dancing goblin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, uh, right, you know. right, right, right. <laughs> but this is a sacred place, so. And so is an inn. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you take the sacrament of the of the wheat soda. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see the little boy. Yeah. All right, you see, you see this. Down. You see this kid's like <laughs> idly idly carving his name into the into the wood oh, of the. God. You little. Uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. that's why. Hold me back! Hold me back! <laughs> I've children before. I will do it again. That's where you're grabbed. <laughs> yeah, right. Big crack, like <laughs> he <does. laughs> Yeah, me and Co. Either side. <laughs> That's funny. Lavellus grabbed. That's hysterical. No. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Inches from casting avenging light on this. Kid. Oh, well, we're glad what that did... you all were able to find sanctuary here in this place. But we can take you back. We can take you back outside of the forest now. You can't stay here. Well, with you. She she walks up to Cervanazor, right, and this kid kind of backs away and goes to his parents, whoever they are. Um, and, <laughs> Apparently, nobody, nobody's watching this child. And uh, yeah. and she kind of under her breath to Cervanazor, so like Zoga and Oren can probably hear her, says, um, "These people have already lost parents and children just getting this far. Do you think you could safeguard them for days, getting them home?" Forest is a dangerous place, but we have defeated many foes on the way. We can keep you safe. And the people like and the I kind of look proud, like, and, and almost, I kind of like, 
put my arm back and show like look look at these fine warriors that I've been with. Like look at Ko and Zoga and Orin and Lavellis, like look. Even though Lavellis is hiding behind Ko now. <laughs> She's pacing back and forth. Stop being a real Why I'm gonna say Yeah, it's totally a Looney Tunes thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I try. I try and put confidence in my in my band. She says, "Elves, a, a goal. I have never seen a barrow man down from the hills. This is this is an omen." She turns and she says to the group of people assembled, "It is time to decide." Uh, they basically divide up into two groups, and they don't agree which direction to go. Some of them want to go south. Some of them want to continue their journey and try to get to Bedigar, and some of them are like, "Fuck this forest." Let's let's just go home. Where is where, our, where is home? Home is where you guys came from. Yeah, our job, I guess, for one of their phrase, was to bring bring them back, right? Just just her, I think, was like what the thing was. That's but true. Like, we should bring yep. them all out of here because, like, well, if we bring them all south out of the out of the woods. At that point, can they sort it out amongst themselves to um, make their way back to wherever it is that they want to be? Yeah, I think if we went south, they would have to go the long way round, so it would take them. I mean, south south is south. No, no, no. Hang on. So, like, well, I mean, oh, am I wrong? If they go home, right? You just turn around, and you're already halfway through the forest. Just make it through the other side. If they're going to go to Bedigar, then they're going to have to go south through the rest of the road. So they wouldn't. They wouldn't go. They wouldn't go south through the forest just to then go all. They wouldn't, you know, spend another three or four days in the forest just to then have to go skirt around the forest to get back home. They would just go three or four days to the forest home. Right. And let's get you to the said safety. They divided themselves into two groups. Yeah. Which one's the bigger group? They're even. They're roughly even. I mean, most of these people are like, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go with whatever the group decides. But uh, one of them. One leader, uh, Karasek is his name. He's from the Oaks family. Uh, he's like, let's press on. And then Uther Deverell, who's on the other side, is like, no, let's head back. And then there are some that are closely aligned with each of them. And then a bunch of people are like, just waiting for somebody to decide. I think Zoga would speak up and say something akin to like, you know, the, the woad is dangerous, but we're, you know, able fighters and if the group if the group splits up we we can't split ourselves up so mm. whoever wants to come with us can come with us down to Bedigar and uh, if y'all want to try and head back home to Dalrath mm. you know do your thing but know what you're uh, what you're going back through You've already yeah, made we, it this we, far. We don't care where you go, but you can't stay here. <laughs> we can promise you safety with us, in the sense that we won't kill you. Lavellis, you hear a noise behind you. Oh no. Okay. Shit. A good noise, a bad noise? It's like, um... <laughs> oh, that's okay. I don't love that noise. Nope. Nope. Okay. Goblins. And the um, there, and there's a bunch more coming, and the <sighs> the woman Demelza said says they followed you. They found us. They followed you and found us. And we'll pick this Pretty up next strange. next week. <laughs> <laughs>